All right, come on. I'll throw blood in the water and maybe get the ducks kept back, but we'll find out. <laughs> I organized as an LLC in the state of Michigan maybe 10 or 15 years ago. I have not done anything to maintain that registration. It still exists. Um, the bank accepts it. The um, Better Business Bureau accepts that uh, proof of registration and organization. But uh, now I'm in Ohio, and I wonder if I need to do anything. First off, Michigan requires annual reports. And you're, if you haven't done anything with the, the company in 10 years or more, you're probably way behind on your annual report, so you may have to catch up on those. They list me as not in good standing in the mm -hmm. state of Michigan. Well, that, <laughs> oh, <there you laughs> there's a sign. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, so that's probably relatively some, I mean, you, you could just let that die and start over. It, it costs $99 filing fee to start an Ohio LLC. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's simple, it's cheap. Uh, so you, you could just let that one die uh, and start a new one, um, or or you could reinstate that one. Now, if can you use a Michigan LLC to do business in Ohio? Yes, but then you're supposed to register the Michigan LLC to do business in Ohio. If if your you know if your headquarters is here, if you're operating out of Ohio, then you need to qualify to do business here, and then you've got an annual report you need to file in Ohio. In you know in that situation, I. I'd probably just forget about the Michigan one and start an Ohio one. Uh, with a, if you're in Ohio with an Ohio LLC, there, you don't even need to file annual reports. If, you're, if you have a Michigan LLC it, operating in Ohio, you've got to file annual, annual reports in both states. I, I, I'd probably just start over. And the other thing is you also don't, if, if the Michigan LLC had a, a, a claimant show up, somebody who claimed it, it owed them money or had, had a a legal claim against them, um, I'd give them the Michigan LLC, say, fine, there's nothing in it, take, take it. You know, my, my Ohio business is clean. So you don't want to cross-contaminate, if you yeah. will. Thank you. Any, do you guys have anything to add? It also depends, too. You know, we see this a lot, because you know, we're right here on the border. So it's very common to have an owner lives in one you know, state, and then they're operating their business in another state. And maybe even you're opening up into other states. So. There's some complexity to all these states are hungry for money, so you need to be careful as far as you know, where you're conducting business. There's a term called nexus. So if you have inventory, you have salespeople, maybe you have an office person in a, in a certain state, those states are going to be looking for tax reporting in those, in those jurisdictions. So then you can also have different cities. You know, we have municipalities. They all have their own tax structure. So it becomes very complicated quickly when you're, when you're doing business in, in, in different states. Um, everyone's aware of Amazon, so Amazon's a very popular place to get products out to. They have distribution centers across the country. I was just on the phone with a client yesterday. He sells all across the country. He has inventory in 15 different states. All of a sudden, that creates nexus. So now they're forcing Amazon to turn over their, their list of uh, vendors, uh, people selling, their, selling goods, and all of a sudden, all those states are going to be sending letters to companies saying, hey, we realize that you're doing business in our state. Now we want to get sales tax and income taxes. It's um, very complicated, and it's going to get worse and worse. Oh. Isn't there a, there's a multi-state sales tax organization that's trying to simplify it, isn't it? I, I haven't followed up too much on that lately. Yeah, uh, it's probably a ways away, but right now they're going to capture a lot of people that you know probably are not don't have the wherewithal to to be compliant all these and all these rules. And even this is a very large company. It's, um, over ten million dollars in revenue, and so they're going to have to really get their arms around how do we how do we record this information. But um, more to come on that. Yeah.